Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to Lumber Tycoon 2. Happy Friday. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe right now. How many of you watch this and you're not subscribed? There's like a 1% of subscribers, and that's not an actual statistic. I'm just throwing it out there. Like 70% of you are not subscribed. Hit it. Hit the button. Do it. Only if you want to. Like, no pressure. Tonight, today, whatever you want to call it, I'm dressed as Sam. Hello, everyone. It's Sam. Sam for life. Uh, for those of you that don't know Sam for life, um, he has been around for quite some time. He was my alt. And I'm on a mission tonight. I want to join uh, random servers and just look around to see if, oh gosh, I'm being followed. I'm being ran over. Discrimination against the bacon hair. <clears throat> I want to see how many exploiters will be willing to talk to me and just to state why they exploit. So, uh, it looks like this server's clean. No, nobody flying around. No, nothing crazy. So, uh, I will go find a different server. I think this is the same one I was just in. Huh. Okay. Really? Again? <laughs> okay. There we go. I got a I got a different server that time. Okay, let's take a look. Who's who all is in this one? No friends. No uh, no peoples. Are you an exploiter? Are you exploiting? This could be legitness. It's a lot of a uh, lot of wood. Oh oh maybe maybe. No, that looks like you're legit plain. So. Good builders, good builders. It's just gonna be interviews tonight. You know, if I find somebody, we're just gonna ask questions like why, to what purpose, and what do you think about Code Primate and him saying don't exploit. Okay. Uh, those are candy cane axes. Okay. Oh, is my chat on? I don't even know if my chat is on. Hello. See, I, I might look like an exploiter, but I've got the um, narwhal, the gentleman narwhal on my shoulder. It shows that I'm I'm friendly. I'm just kidding. It doesn't mean anything. <sighs> okay, that could possibly be an Xbox player right there. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have anybody here. Here we go. Here we go. Ha ha ha. That's a... Hey, buddy. Brother. What's going on, bro? Oh, he gone. He is gone. Did he just load? I don't see a base loading in. Okay. All of them or just the, yes, blank of them? Okay, sure. I mean the gray. Oh, we're going to see somebody resin in gray wood. You want ice wood. Okay. Let's go over here. Are you exploiting? Because this doesn't look legit. But, I mean, I've got a bunch of pink cars as well. Oh, um, that looks like a duper. A super duper. Gonna join you all on the ice wood. Oh, buddy. Uh-oh. And the king of the toilets is right here. Oh goodness. Okay. So what's the, what's the name? What's the name? Hold on. Where's the name? Autumn to Pro. Autumn. Do you dupe? Slashy wave. Hi. I'm probably gonna get blacklisted. Oh gosh. Here, let me step off the property. <gasps> Ooh. That was a close one. Sick. Um. Yes, she can. <laughs> Just got sold out. Oh no, Adam. Um. Mind if I ask questions? I didn't dupe my money though. Only axes. Sure. So. What do you think about dupers in Lumber Tycoon 2? Oh, 
Oh, sorry. I don't know. It's a perfectly legit question. Okay. Um, do you use an external program to dupe or an internal glitch? Uh, some are just nope. Wait, what? <laughs> Do you use a program to dupe? <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious as to what the answers are and stuff. Like synapsis, syn syn synapsis, vernix, kernel, uh, jsploit, bark, stuff like that. Sorry, bro, she's busy. That's okay. I'm conducting an interviews with um, exploiters and dupers. I can't spell. <laughs> I've always told you guys that. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, so you use synapses. Um, next question, um, okay, how long have you used uh, an exploit tool? Oh, they are at the rocks. Senna. How long have you used Senna to do dupes? I hope I'm recording. Is my mic on? Test, test. Yeah, I'm good. Like I just started. Oh. Um, may I ask, ask what prompted you to start using it? Excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry if this is a little bit boring. I used to play Da Hood. Oh, I know the game. Okay. And I liked selling DHC. Discontinued handguns? No, that'd be DHG. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't. I don't know what DHC is. I've only played Dahood like a couple of times and like I got wiped out the first couple of minutes so I, I didn't play it after that. I used it. Oh, okay. Um, do you fear... Okay, I, I don't want to say do you fear. Um, 
do you think users who use exploits should be allowed to do so? No. It's <laughs> a contradictory answer. Well, <laughs> the ones who ruin the fun for others. Oh. Okay, again, I'm I'm t coming at this with a very uh open mind, non-judgmental. Um play the game however you want, stuff like that. But thank you so much for your answers. Just so you know, I am Code Primate. <laughs> and I am doing a video for Friday. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, oh, somebody's cussing at me. They might be cussing. Who is Code Primate? <laughs> I think they're trying to say fake account. Never heard of him. All good. Thank you so much for your time. I am going to ask more peoples. Oh, just Google it. You'll find me. You too. Thank you, Autumn2Pro, for your honest answers. Uh, I hope this doesn't get you in trouble that I'm actually asking you. Nobody is allowed to use this as evidence against her because there's no evidence that she actually used any kind of programs. Bam. There we go. All right, next server. Okay, I am in the next server. Oh, hit close. Um hello. Does anyone dupe? <laughs> I asked the question and just that's kind of obvious. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Please, can I have a monies? I have 20 on me. <laughs> oh. Oh. I hope I don't get banned just for asking if people dupe. Rap. Or splits. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? <clears throat> I'm conducting interviews. And I'm trying to be nice about it, you know? Just having fun. <sighs> tree just exploded. Looks like somebody busted open a Fortnite llama and just, <laughs> just All right, it doesn't look like this guy's going to talk, so I need to find somebody else. Anyone else dupe in this server? Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah. Do you uh, oh, okay. Do you mind if I ask you some questions. I guess not. Um, excellent. First, do you exploit? Oh, sorry, do you use exploits?
I hope this isn't gonna get you in trouble. Like this, this is not meant to. Oh. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I'm looking for exploiters to interview. Pretty much, I already know the answer to most of these because I speak to exploiters and like I talk to uh, to people who do exploit. Um, how come? Um, for a video I'm doing about exploiting in lumber. A non bias interview. Hello, questions. I don't know if Runar knows who I am. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Go! My wife couldn't drink all of her coffee, so I got to use her Monopoly cup tonight. Okay, this is server number four that I've joined. Hello, I am conducting a non bias interview. Does anyone here exploit, exploit or dupe? I'm just straight asking it. Just come straight into there, just like, no qualms about it. Do you exploit or dupe? I would love to talk to you. Come come sit in the interview chair. I don't have an interview chair, by the way. Just saying. By the way, for those of you out there who are still under the guise that dupers and exploiters are some kind of like super user or that they're mean, stuff like that, there is all walks of life, okay? There's people out there who don't exploit and don't dupe who are just straight mean, okay? That doesn't mean that because they exploit or they dupe that they're a mean person, all right? There's a lot of people who do it with good intent, all right? And I've always said it in the past, there's there's no justification for to, to me for somebody to use exploits, period. But I can see how some people would view it as like, it's good for the economy. It helps people level up in the game. It's, it's a way to keep items from disappearing. I understand. It's still not justifiable to me, but I can see how other people would come from that, that realm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's exploiting here, so next server. I've already been in this server. It, it says it right there, up there in the top. I said the exact same thing. There we go. I landed in a different server finally. I, I hit refresh like six times, and each time I landed in the same one. <clears throat> okay. Hello. I am conducting a non bias interview. Does anyone here dupe, dupe, or exploit that would be willing to speak with me? reload your base and he said how <sighs> okay I think this person we could possibly have a either a base drop or a duper well that's probably a dupe that's a lot of alpha axes <gasps> and many axes or no those are end times axes who's this hello Jean hello Jean he says, thanks, no problem. Jing, Jing, may I speak with you? 
Question mark. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Um, do you exploit or dupe? That's that's the first question. I just ask it straight up. Yes, questions. People are questioning. I was. Now I don't. Okay. Um, when you did, did you use an external program or internal bug to dupe? Would you mind if I asked which one? There's a script also. <laughs> oh, he's trying to tell me that there's scripts out there. Oh. <laughs> I would recommend kernel. <laughs> I told you guys, I told you. It's free and it's powerful. Thank you. What made you want to dupe in the first place? And when age did you start? Oh, just I was just bored. <laughs> I like his avatar. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Bro, are you recording me? Well, never mind. Uh, yes, this is for a recording, and I am doing interviews. I don't know. I just find this game boring. Understood. You gotcha. And I started using hacks. I would ask what age, but that's kind of restricted. Um, uh, what was the other question? Do you think people who are, uh, sorry, users, users who use exploits should be allowed to do so. Like, not banned for using them. Three minutes in this is intense like I didn't I didn't realize I was gonna get such a, a rush from asking questions directly if an exploiter doesn't bother other players and a lot of people do feel like that I understand so if it's not affecting others then yes Yes, got it. Sweet. I think that's it. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Um, my name is Code Primate. This video will be up for tomorrow on Friday. Yes, I am a YT. Oh. 
I want to watch that. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Just Google code primate. My channel and my main are Heath Haskins. Oh, <gasps> Heath Haskins. <laughs> Can't say my name. Uh, I need at least one, one more interview. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, that's me. Old guy of Roblox. Uh, wait, dude! <laughs> I'm gonna die if he's like, I used to watch you. Are you gonna upload this? Yes! When I started this game, I watched your vids. <gasps> Yay! I found a, a fan! <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna pause it. I, got, I gotta go and just jump into the next one. But I, I, I love that. This is my alt. <laughs> People didn't speak with my main. <laughs> Can I ask one thing? Sure. What's the question? What's the, what's the quest? What's your quest? What is your quest, sir? Tell me. Uh, do you blur my name or show it? I was just going to show it. I'm going to show it. Your answers are not proof of using the tools. I'm good with that. Sweet. Thank you so much. Next server. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you yours too, dude. It's cool. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Good talk. Okay, we got a different language. Is that Greek? I don't, I don't know what language that is. Um, hold on. Oh, I've only got like two people in here. Six million and nine hundred thousand. I don't. I don't see evidences of exploits. So next server. Here we go. Hello. I am conducting a non bias interview with uh, users who exploit or dupe. Does anyone in here dupe or exploit? and is willing to answer some questions. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. I don't know if anybody's listening because I'm typing on the road again. I hope this is a good video for Friday. It's kind of a, a feel-good intermediate channel. I know a lot of you probably are going to get mad at this and be like, Code, I can't believe that you're justifying. It's it's not a justification. It is a non-biased interview of people who do dupes. And I think, oh, glorious, hello, Igor. All right, let me get off your base so you don't blacklist me. All right, buddy. Igor! Hiya! Do you exploit or dupe? Saw the axes. Thought I would ask. I'll wait for a response. Okay, he says exploit. Um, would you be willing to speak with me? Answer. A couple 
our questions. Oh, these long delays in between the typings. I should I should edit them out and just do it like a really really long video where they're all done. <clears throat> I won't though. Oh, and I, I I don't know. Should I blur out the names? I probably I'm not going to blur out the names because, like I said, just speaking in chat is not evidence for banning somebody about talking about exploits. I don't know. Oh. Oh. You used to, but you don't anymore. Huh. That seems to be a, a standard practice. Is like you dupe for a short period of time and then you don't ever dupe again. What is that? Is that Freak Demon? Hi, Freak Demon. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, did you? Oh, we already know that he did exploits. Uh, what program did you use to exploit? <clears throat> do, do, do. Just businessman. I'll wait for the answers. All right, he's not responding in a bit. Like, Jsploit, Kernel, Synapsis, Syn Synapsis. Vernex Bark Quicks. I was a little idiot. Ah, <laughs> I was a little idiot who used to use ejectors to hack the game, but I understand what an idiot I was. Not a problem. Like I said, this is a non bias interview. <clears throat> what made you want to exploit? I'll wait for the answer. Oh, simple answer. Money. Ah. Do you think users who exploit should be allowed to do so? If so, uh, why or why not? There we go. That's a that's a nicely worded question. I like it. You know what would be really good is if I could get a hold of like a ton of exploiters and ex exploiters from like the the exploiting community and actually have them like come in and do like a whole sit down interview of the hacking scene or or the groups that you're in, you know, like the groups that I was in whenever I was 13, 14 years old have changed or drastically 16 was I 16 somewhere in that range like it was still high school but I mean that's where I learned a lot of the programming and coding love that I have today I mean that's where I came from so I mean I can't, I can't fault it I can't fault them it's a great place to start learning how to program because mine was pure curiosity I wanted to know how it worked. So I think he's done with the interview. I've not gotten a response. I'll wait. I think he might be busy. He or she. I don't want to be 
sexist. It, it could be a or non-binary. You know, like I don't know what their pronouns are. Um, if you if you do hear me refer to you as a he, it's just out of habit of being um, the majority of gamers during my lifetime were all boys, so I just refer to everybody as dude and he. So um, just because I don't know your pronouns, don't get mad at me. Thank you. Oh, somebody lost a duck. No. Bubber ducky, you're the one. To be honest, I don't care about them. I was born in Russia, and almost all of us design games. I'm proud of the people who write scripts themselves, and I'm one of them. And those who download ready-made scripts are just people who are against the system, and now they are without different without different to me. Igor, dude. <laughs> Dang, that got a lot deeper than I thought it was going to. I thought he was just going to be like, I was bored. <laughs> nice answer. Dude, that was, that was like spot on to almost what I was saying. Like, the, the, to learn programming. Mm. Thank you so much for your time. Just so you know, I am recording... For my Friday video, my name is Code Primate. I'm gonna laugh if they know me. <sighs> I won't laugh. It's it's kind of cool. <sighs> He's like, okay, <laughs> dude. That's Russian to say. <laughs> Who are you? You called primate? What do I care? You have no authority over me. <laughs> oh, dang, Igor! <laughs> I'm getting all savage. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode. Here, I'm, I'm just gonna do a smiley face real quick. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as we interview random exploiters and dupers um, inside the game. Now, I will leave on one last note, and that's I don't think the game should be modified in any way, but I also feel the same way about Minecraft, okay? And I forced my kids for the first two years of playing Minecraft, zero mods, no mods. You cannot mod, you must play vanilla. And that's because I feel the very same thing. <sighs> Whenever Minecraft first came out, mods were not allowed. Like you weren't supposed to be able to mod things. And then these channels started popping up with these hackers that would put these mods on and then really popular channels like popular MMO with Jan and whoever it was they were doing tons of mods yes that's me yes that's me and he just found my channel <laughs> and it turned into like Mojang almost couldn't stop it so they started to give tutorials and like ways to mod the game itself just kind of accepted it as being part of the game um the same thing happens with fortnite with call of duty like you you see all these people who are hackers they're not really hackers the people who create those programs to do the aim bots and stuff like that i would call you the hacker because you figured out how to inject the script into the game itself Myself, I could probably reverse engineer the DLLs and the files and the scripts and everything and get exploits to work. I don't want to do that. I did that way back when, and I did it on like the original Diablo. So we, we could, uh, if you don't know what the original Diablo was, inside the city, they disabled attacks. So you couldn't kill anyone. But there was ways to turn on invisibility and to um, inject basically just memory edits and turn on kills and PVP inside the city. Caused a lot of damage and wreaked a lot of havoc whenever I was a little kid. But those days led to me becoming the application developer that I am today and the, the awesome programmer. I know tons of languages. There's probably so many languages I've forgotten just because I don't use them on a daily basis anymore. But the thing is I wanted to bring up is we should play the games 
how they're intended by the developers, by Roblox. That's why there's a terms of service. That's why these things are in place. And hopefully I'm a moral compass for people out there, but if you're going to exploit anyway, don't harm others. That's that's just wrong. Be nice. Okay? If you're if you're going to get into this world, into this field, be safe about it. Don't hurt others and have fun because you're probably going to learn a lot more skills than you thought. Again, I'm saying don't do it. But if you're going to do it, be safe. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out. And we'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro.